everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces. And how about we talk about how to mix paint colors today. We get a lot of questions about how to mix paint colors and people seem really intimidated by it. You know, they think math and oh my gosh, ratios and I have to make sure it's the right shade and how am I gonna get it right and how am I gonna mix it? What am I gonna mix it in? So I'm here to tell you it's super, super easy. We all know we love Annie Sloan's fantastic color range and we love Miss Mustard Seed's colors as well. But sometimes these 36 colors um, just aren't enough. Maybe you want something a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. Um, maybe you want a brighter green or a different yellow or a different pink. Um, so here's a super easy way that I have found to mix colors. Before I show you that, I do wanna just make you aware that we have done a lot of this work for you and we have all of this information on our Pinterest page. So go to our Pinterest board and look for our tone charts. So take a peek here. This is all of, and I hope, are these too glary? Should I take these out of here? No, they're good, okay. So these are all of Annie's colors mixed with different ratios of pure white and old white. So here is the color in its natural state, this case Chateau Gray, and we've mixed it with um, a two to one ratio of pure white. So that first number is always the color. So two parts Chateau Gray, one part pure white, and then going down in a gradation of different variations of pure white and like I said, old white. So that just mixing each color with the whites can really give you a very gorgeous range. So that's one way. You could just take your colors and mix them with whites. Now, let's say that you want to just make a whole new color, which is what we love to do a lot around here at Sweet Pieces. So I have five different colors out here. We're gonna mix together burgundy and Florence. This is like one of my favorite combos, colorful combos. I'm gonna use my finger. So I've dipped my finger on my stir stick. I'm gonna dab this on my page. This is my handy dandy. Annie Sloan workbook. I'm now, I've, I've wiped off my finger. I'm now gonna dip onto Florence and I'm going to put it on the page there. Now I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna swirl these two parts together. Now I've done one part of each, so I know that's a one to one ratio. Now I, some of you I know, cause I've talked to you here in the store, what you've done is you've mixed like a whole teaspoon or you know, a half of a cup, and then you have this color that maybe you don't really like and you've wasted so much paint. This is a really easy way. So you can just use your finger, the handy dandy finger test, um, and just mix your color. So let's say this, now this is gonna dry a little differently, so you'd wanna wait, but let's say mm, I want this to be a little bit more red. So now I'm gonna dip my finger and I'm gonna go one, and I'm gonna go two. So now I've done two parts of burgundy, and I'm gonna do one part of Florence and then mix those together. So now I've made a ratio of two to one and you can see the difference here. And I haven't wasted hardly any paint. Um, I would also suggest that you write down what your ratios are. So this is gonna be two parts burgundy, one part Florence. This is one part Burgundy, one part Florence. Now, how, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know if any of you know this about me, but I went to school to be a math teacher before I decided to take the creative route and create sweet pieces. Um, how do I now configure two parts to one part? So it's super easy. You're just gonna decide what is your part? Your part could be a tablespoon. Your part could be some line on your measuring cup, you know, one cup. If you're using one cup, it's gonna be one cup and one cup of each. Um, if you're using a tablespoon, it's gonna be one tablespoon, one tablespoon. Um, you could mark off a line on a, any container that you have laying around the house and use that as your part. Um, here in the store at Sweet Pieces, we sell these fabulous little mixing uh, containers and they come in a bunch of different sizes. We sell them in 16 ounce, we sell them in a quart, and then we also sell them in two and a half quart sizes. And basically these have all different ounces and ratio mixers here on the side. So let's say we want to mix, I don't know, that we have a whole quart of paint. We want to mix it 32 ounces. If you're doing a one to one ratio, you would mix 16 ounces and 16 ounces gives you 32. So you would just pour up to 16 and then pour up to 32. Really super simple. So you decide what your part is. Your part could be a teaspoon, a tablespoon, 
a Poland spring bottle, whatever it may be. So here um, we have two to one, we have one to one. You could also get into doing like half a part or three quarters of a part and you would do it exactly the same way. I'm gonna show you one more fun color mix. So this is Auntie Green, so we got one and we'll do one English yellow. And now we'll mix those together and we're gonna create a fun, fun lime green here. And you can just, you know, you can keep on going on. I mean, the sky is the absolute limit when it comes to color mixing. There's millions of different colors that you can mix. And I would love to hear what colors are you mixing? We, we mix all kinds of colors here every single day. I don't even know if we do pieces anymore that are just in one color. We, have, we love our color mixing. So if you need any more tips, we would love to hear what you wanna see videos on. Go to our Facebook page, go to our Instagram, shoot us a quick note. We'd love to hear from you. If you're lucky enough to live near us, come visit us in Huntington or Massapequa. We can't wait to meet you.